My name is Saad Ahmed Malik and I am an assistant professor of surgery at University of Maryland School of Medicine. Uh, I work in the division of transplant. I do liver and kidney transplant from uh, deceased as well as from uh, living donors. I do multi-organ uh, procurements from deceased, organ, uh, deceased donors. I do hepatobiliary surgery and pretty much uh, basic general surgery operations in uh, transplant patients. So I am originally from Pakistan. I did my uh, medical school in Pakistan. Uh, I did my internship and then I did general surgery residency in Pakistan. And uh, I was always interested in uh, liver surgery as well as liver transplant. And uh, there wasn't really much going on in Pakistan. And I recognized that uh, US is the place to be. Uh, and eventually came here. I did my uh, transplant fellowship at University of Maryland and then I stayed here uh, in the faculty. The uh, organ transplant wait list is uh, the people on the wait list are way more than uh, the organs out there. So uh, for somebody, say for liver, for somebody to receive a liver from a deceased donor, they need to be fairly sick to be high up on that list to have a fairly decent chance of receiving an organ. Now, if somebody is able to donate part of their liver to them, that just takes, you know, that changes the whole equation because they don't have to wait. They can get that organ at a time and date of their choice. So it is an elective operation. You would get it done when you're not sick. Generally, these organs tend also tend to be of better quality than deceased donor organs. So, so it's certainly a, a massive game changer for anybody waiting on the transplant list. So I want to offer the deceased donor transplant, but in addition to that, we really want people to encourage to come up with donors. And we are one of the best centers with one of the best outcomes in the country. And, and we can really help them by offering that operation.